I'm John Johnson, Automotive Systems Marketing at ST Microelectronics. Today we're going to have a brief discussion about the power stage of the traction inverter in electric vehicles. We'll discover how key technology like silicon carbide and IGBTs help electric cars go further on a single charge. So hop in and let's go! From an energy efficiency standpoint, that is watt hours per mile, an electric vehicle is approximately 60% efficient while internal combustion engines come in at about 20%. For the traction drive, comprising the inverter and motor, efficiency hovers at over 90%. The traction inverter connects to the high voltage bus provided by the main battery. Some major components of the traction and drive include the motor, the power stages with associated drivers, motor current and position feedback, usually resolver, a microcontroller or processor to control torque and speed, various communications interfaces, a power supply, and functional safety elements. For the remainder of our time, we'll focus on the power stages. Major design considerations for the traction inverter power stage include efficiency, thermal performance, emissions, that is EMI, size, cost, and safety. There are trade-offs for each of these factors depending on the power stage technology chosen. Let's look at these technologies a little closer. Specific operational parameters for each vehicle system largely determine which transistor slash switch technology is most suitable. These use cases, for example the traction inverter, have requirements that dictate how much power needs to be switched as well as transistor switching speeds. As shown in the diagram, the characteristics of IGBTs and silicon carbide map well into the requirements for the traction inverter. Silicon carbide has unique properties that make it ideally suited for traction inverter power stages. These properties make it possible to build some amazing transistors and diodes that map well into traction inverter power stage design requirements. Silicon carbide transistors deliver operation at higher temperature, lower loss, higher voltage, faster switching, and smaller size. The chart illustrates one primary char characteristic of IGBTs, hybrids, and silicon carbide power stages from an energy efficiency standpoint. It graphically shows one advantage of silicon carbide. The losses shown comprise switching and conduction losses. If overall efficiency is the ultimate objective, then silicon carbide is the clear choice. If the design is cost constrained, then IGBTs or a hybrid approach might be considered. Of course, one other factor to take into account is the time and cost associated with thermal design. A good place to start is to talk about packaging. Here are a couple of other power device packaging examples, HU3PAC and the ACE. Both provide great form factor options as well as cooling performance. The ACE pack enables ST to build highly integrated drive products for electrification applications. ST Microelectronics provides differentiated performance for most of the key components comprising a traction inverter system. From simple EST protection devices, robust silicon carbide power stages and their associated gate drivers, to sophisticated ASIL-D compliant microcontrollers, ST has it covered. So give your local sales team a call or contact us at www.st.com. I'm John Johnson for ST Microelectronics. Thank you.